this five minute conversation has pushed me further towards veganism than vegans as in a hundred videos. Because he just attacks whoever he wants. Yeah, that's right. Push. Well, I'm really pleased that you said that, yeah. But yeah. yeah. Do you think that a utopian world would be vegan? Uh, absolutely. I feel the whole world at some point, I don't care how long it takes, the world's going to be vegan Good. in the end of the day. Yeah. Because what, what do you think the re number one reason is for me eating currently? Convenience and taste. Convenience yeah. is the exact, that's what word I was going for. Yeah. Um, <sighs> it is convenience, isn't it? it yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, I couldn't be vegan, I couldn't be vegan. Yeah. Every, every vegan said that before they were I vegan, it, I'd yeah. imagine. Yeah, I said it. I, I said there's no point to being vegan like yeah. a couple of years ago. I said there's no reason to be vegan and now... Another thing is I didn't realise, I quite like my like sports, I didn't realise... Yeah. Uh, I thought, oh, I can't be vegan, I won't get my protein source, yeah. which is obviously incorrect. So is it a combination of legumes and wheat, is it? Yeah, like, is that right? Do you know, you can find protein in pretty much everything. Yeah. So if you eat, like, potatoes, rice, a balanced diet, basically, you get your protein yeah. intake. Fair enough. Yeah, and like, I think Black people... spaghetti, is it? That's high in protein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. a lot of people are worried about complete proteins. We think, oh, we can only get complete proteins with all the essential amino acids from yeah. meat, but, like, leafy greens and, like, soy and, like, chia yeah. and hemp and stuff are all great it examples. It's more sort of convenient than the world maybe could turn that way. It's just yeah. things like... I don't know, imagine at some point in the world probably a few people were vegan because you couldn't access sort of the alternatives. Yeah. So as they become on the market, then more people will sort of turn to that. Yeah. And so it's about time and sort of processing and making it more available to people. Do you think there's more options being becoming available? To totally, yeah. I think, you know... Um, yeah, I think... And there's more a market for it now. I'm more in a niche. There's more alternatives to people, so it's e it's easier. Yeah. I think to be vegan now than it was, I don't know, 50 years ago. Yeah. I, it most certainly is easy now. Have you ever thought about reducing animal product consumption or cutting out meat from your diet? Um. Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't, it's okay. I'm just interested. Like. Yeah. Um. Well, I, I don't know. I just want to compare, like, you know, like halal meat. Halal meat. Yeah. Yeah. Like. I'm just curious, like, how do people care about halal meat? Like, how do, what's the difference between halal and non-halal? Yeah, what so basically that? halal, in the West we stun our animals. It's very crude, but what we do is we try to put an electric bolt into their heads, which is supposed to render them unconscious. It doesn't really work, but that's the idea. In halal, they don't do that at all, they don't even try. They cut the throats of the animals while they're still conscious, and then drain them of their blood while they're still alive. Now, it sounds horrible, but it, we, in essence, do the same thing here when it's non-halal. We just try and stun them first. Um, so, yeah, it's horrible. Do you consume halal meat? Um, well, like, I do know someone who's, like, Muslim and they eat halal meat. Yeah. And um, they don't eat, you know, like, if it's not halal, they wouldn't eat the meat. Yeah. So, um, just, like, it's, like, just my point of view is, like, um, it's still the same, isn't it? Like, you kill an animal and yeah. I just don't get the point of, like... It's halal and non halal yeah. And then, like, when you, we eat, like, you know, non halal meat, and they make just a big deal of it. Yeah. And then, like, I, I, sorry, I can't explain myself. It's okay, don't worry, yeah. I think, I think halal meat's terrible. The kosher's the exact same, the Jewish form of slaughter. But the reality is what we were saying earlier, there's no nice way to kill an animal, so it's, it's irrelevant if we do it in a religious sacrifice or just for consumption from people who are non-religious. It's still like a, an immoral thing to do, I guess, because you can't do it nicely. <laughs> but yeah, halal stuff's really messed up. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. So, but, so have you ever thought about giving up meat? Then you said maybe yes. Um, I, I just said to my friend once, you know, the one that she said she... From vegetarian. Yeah. yeah. So um, I did, like, so, to her once that like maybe I want to try to become vegetarian yeah. so like stop eating meat yeah. but um, it's quite hard because I've been eating meat for, like my whole life and yeah. I don't know where to start or where to stop right, yeah. and um, yeah but I did thought once that like, I might okay. try yeah. maybe just for a day and yeah, if yeah. I can survive for a day I'll do a week and exactly and, just, and then keep, keep increasing that do you think the world is, is starting to turn more to plant based options yeah I believe so um well, it's, um, for instance, young, young adults in the big cities where you have all the options, you can buy yeah. wheat-based products, o o -ad, o -ad or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't have pronounces, but you, you have this sort of like soy milks and, and stuff. Yeah. If you have the options, but for instance, we come from a very small town in Finland. Yeah. It's very difficult to find them in the store sure. uh, if you have them yeah. at all. Yeah. And they're very expensive. Yeah. But I think... Thanks to a few doc documentaries like Forks Over Knives or uh, Cowspiracy, 
in Netflix, for instance. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very good that people will gain conscious yeah. of this. Yeah. How did you come across these documentaries? Did you just find them on your own, or were they recommended to you? Well, I, I find them on Netflix, so... Yeah. so and you I, thought you, you were interested in watching yeah. them. And yeah. That's great. That's really good, yeah. Yeah, I, do you think that maybe the world's moving to a more plant-based vegan lifestyle? In general, your friend was saying about like um, in, in Finland, where you come from, is there's not really a supply there, so it's yeah. so it's quite difficult. But do you think in general the world is moving to a more vegan um, society? Well, I guess it depends on country too, and there's so many different people. For for example, in the United States, I guess people are not so fond of those things. Of course, in big cities, there are people that really, really are for watch for it. That yeah, it's, it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah but. Generally, yes, and it's it's important that media like says that it's okay. So, like many people hear about it, they know know about it, and they know that it's good, it's okay, and it should be should be done. So it's about educating the public so they can yeah, make an informed decision. Yeah. yeah, I think that when people know about the dangers of eating meat to the environment and, and to themselves, I think we'll see a more rapid decline yeah, of meat consumption. It's kind of interesting that, for instance, in schools we're teaching uh, about global warming. Yeah, that it, yeah. It's the, the traffic. Using this, this, okay. Okay, we're using oil and, yeah. and stuff. So th that is the main reason for global warming. Yeah. They never mentioned this agriculture. They it's never. Strange, right? Why do you think that is? I really can't tell. I don't know. Do you think it maybe because the animal agriculture industry has so much money and there's so much to lose that they want to suppress it? But I does that affect the education? You know. It kind of all trickles down. Like if they lobby governments or like you know blackmail governments or you know fund governments officials, then yeah, they it could have be, but, to, you know, dictate the education. It could it's, be. it's quite corrupt, I think, at times. And so yeah, somebody wants us, some people don't want us to know about it, and that's obviously yeah. an effect on because the media and stuff obviously don't declare much about it either. So I, I think it's quite a leading question. But do you, would you guys agree that animal cruelty is is wrong? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So do you think that we need to eat animal products to sustain a healthy life? No. No, you don't. So by default, if we take that logic, then to kill an animal or to abuse the animal for animal products is natural yeah. cruelty because it's unnecessary. Yeah. It's, it's avoidable, isn't it? Yeah. And you can get the same outcome. It's just hard. I know yeah, this yeah. sounds like a whim, but uh, do you know flexitarianism? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did that. I started off one day, two day, three days, yeah. and then I had to scale it back to two days, and then I had to get... Because I tried to consume more calories... Okay. And then it's harder to get it from vegetables, even though you can have what well, was I having a lot of pasta. Good, yeah, yeah. But I don't know, milk's I, really easy to drink. I, I, as uh, as yeah. horrible as that sounds. No, no, it's, it's not horrible because we've all been there. I've certainly been there. Yeah. And and it's talk, we were talking about there about getting the calories in. Yeah, you're right. When we eat plants, the amount of calories in plants is lower than it is because we've got less the saturated increases fat. Increases in yeah. the calories. So you've just got to eat up the intake of foods that you eat. Yeah. Eat more it's calorically pull, dense yeah. foods. Yeah. Yeah. I had the same problem. When I first went vegan, I was really unprepared, yeah. and I wasn't eating enough calories, and I was I had a little bit of a shake, and I thought, I can't do this, and I just up my calorie intake, and then I felt How are your fine. energy now, levels now? A bit better than they've ever been. Yeah. Like, I sleep, yeah. I get, I sleep really well. That's the yeah. Good. And, and are you someone that plays sports then and works out? And uh, yeah, I'm uh, trying Good. to be a uh, powerlifter. Yeah, yeah, I mean, not, I'm not, obviously, but like, <laughs> what from, like, the thing about a vegan diet is it means that your muscles regenerate quicker and, and they're healthier. And well, actually, the muscle tissue recovers yeah, quicker. It recovers quicker, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, what I can do is I can send you some links to, like, bodybuilders, not yeah. vegan games, but other ones as well, who, who yeah. will, you know... I don't like ...have more games. experience than I do. Vegan don't games are dick. He's opinionated, right? He's like Marmite. He's just a knobhead. Like, you're, like... <laughs> th this five-minute conversation has pushed me further towards veganism than vegan games has in a hundred videos. Because he just attacks whoever he wants. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'm really pleased that you said that, yeah. But yeah. yeah. When well, I listen to you guys talking, it sounds a lot like how I used to speak as well. Like a few years ago, and I, would, and I was like you, I was like, well, I kind of want to be vegan, but like, how do I make that step? Yeah. How am I going to get there? It's such a big ask. And before I went vegetarian as well, I was like, can I do it? Like, is it going to be possible? I want to try it, but it's such a big thing to do. So I think everyone that makes that step to veganism, or even vegetarianism, but veganism especially, has that a moment or that feeling like, is this possible to do? Am I going to be able to accomplish it? We all have that. And it's about getting over that hurdle and finding what it is that makes you believe that it's acceptable to do so. For me, it was about putting my, you know, myself in the position of the victim by saying, if I wouldn't like it done to me, then how is it okay for me to do it to other people? Or to other beings, should I say? And it's a sim I think that's a really powerful thing. Like, if I don't want to have my throat slit for someone to eat me, then is it okay for me to condemn an animal that doesn't want to have that happen to it as well? Yeah. What do you think? That's that's very true. Yeah. yeah. I do you agree with you? You agree? Yeah. 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 Well, and maybe have I maybe thought like 
maybe encourage you to have a think about it? Like something that maybe you thought about before, but maybe it's yeah. become more forward in your mind? Yeah, I'd say that. Yeah, cool. What about yourself? I say I, I want to start like become a show and fest and then take a step oh, yeah, more yeah, forward. Yeah, and then, I did that. That's yeah. absolutely fine, yeah. So, but um, to step over it straight away, I, I can't do that. That's all right, yeah. yeah. That's okay. It's, like, it's about getting there and doing what you can at the time because it's a big ask, but I just encourage you to go for it. And, if you want, I can give you some flyers, some information, some documentaries to watch as well if you're interested. Yeah? Yeah? I could do that? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. That's well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah. Right. Do you think that maybe in the future you will, you both will look to maybe go completely vegan? I, hopefully. Hopefully yeah. I will. So. Taste is, is always like important and it's important if you get, if you go, go to vegan, you have to like get enough, enough those, you know, Vitamins and so on. Yeah. Some some of these are very hard to find in vegetables. Like, so, like, do you mean the nutrients? Yeah, exactly yeah. nutrients. For, for example, yeah. B B12. As, ah, okay. as I remember, B12. it's when you eat in in vegetables, yeah. like true vegetables, they it doesn't you don't get that much. So. Do you know what B12 is? Just out of interest. What? Do you know what B12 is? Out of interest. Obviously, the vitamin, but you know, like, yeah. is it? It's like microbes that are grown in dirt. So naturally, we think that animals have B12 in them because they eat like grass and stuff. Um, but the problem is nowadays we don't raise livestock animals in like the natural conditions. Yeah. So we feed them yeah. soybean and like steroids and growth hormones. So actually, animals that have B12 in them, they're given supplement injections. So actually, if you're worried about B12, you should be supplementing yourself because if you eat animal products with B12, you're basically filtering your vitamins through an animal when you could be getting it from a pure source. Yeah. So yeah, that was new. I, 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 not many people. B twelve is the big one. I'm really again like you guys are really knowledgeable, which is impressive because many people don't know about it. But yeah, B twelve is one that vegans get yeah. attacked with a lot, saying, yeah. "Oh, you must be B twelve deficient," and it's simply not true because the majority of people that have B twelve deficiency are meat eaters. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's a problem for everyone because our agriculture nowadays means that it's all like we sterilize the foods, eat yeah. vegetables yeah. and fruits. We give them like washes and these chemicals, and we use like yeah. GMOs and stuff. So B12 is deficient amongst most people, but it's good that you know about it, yeah. yeah. I guess I'll just, I'm interested to ask you maybe one final question. I'll, I'll start with you maybe. Um, if you could live a life where you had a choice between killing animals, killing humans, and killing neither, what would you choose? Neither, most definitely, yeah. I think the only reason I probably am not vegan is access and convenience, yeah. and because I don't know, none of my family are, so obviously it'd be more difficult for me to do that, yeah. But maybe when I'm older and I have my own sort of income, it'd be easier. Ah, okay. So that's the only reason, but I would say neither. Yeah, I mean, my parents aren't vegan either, and if I lived at home, um, it would be really hard for me. Yeah. Like, and I, I totally empathise with that situation. I think what I'd, what I'd always recommend is if you, if when you find that passion for it, if you do watch the documentaries, yeah. learn the information, you can spread the information to them. Yeah. Um, I yeah. think it's about sort of knowing and finding your way you can be a vegan but well, but healthy, because you yeah. can't sort of get rid of meat. Like Jay was saying, like, you need to find your alternatives yeah. and you need to be prepared for it. Yeah, I agree. And that's how you can sort of live a life of veganism. Yeah, yeah that's cool. So is it something you'd hope to do maybe? Potentially, yeah. I mean, not at this moment. I do, I do enjoy meat, but in the back of my mind, yeah. ethically and sort of morally, I know I am technically going against my morals. Because currently, like, the way you're talking to me, your morals seem like quite... Um, against animal cruelty, as you were yeah. saying, but at the same time, your actions are quite pro-animal cruelty, yeah. obviously. Do you think that taste is more important than life? No, I, th I think it's just because I've been raised yeah. Yeah. to eat meat, so that's why it's... I think you sort of, it's weird because you, you're against it, but then you sort of do it anyway, like subconsciously, you'll eat meat, and then strange, after. It? Yeah, it's and there's lots of things, I think. But I'm against sort of like companies like Nestle, but then after you've eaten, like, I don't know, like Maltese or whatever, you but oh wait, I brought one of my morals. Yeah. And it's, it's one of the things sort of, being conscious and being aware of your decisions. Uh, yeah, it's, it's all about conscious living, isn't it? Yeah. Like, for me, veganism is like the moral baseline, and like we, we should work as hard as we can to push above that, so ethical clothing, conscious living, like try and reduce yeah. our carbon footprint. It's I, good think, I, think, yeah, I think it's a gradual process as yeah. well. Yeah, it takes a bit of time for yeah. that. Yeah. And I'll ask you that one final question as well, which was if you had a choice between killing animals, killing neither, or killing humans, what would you choose? It's a trap question, because you it say neither, but that's what I'd do it. Yeah. But I'm not killing humans. No, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a leading question. I think it puts yeah, you in that corner. So yeah. I quite like it. No, I'll 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 be vegan at yeah. some point. What I'll do is I'll give you guys some information, some documentaries. Yeah. You've already come across yeah, my yeah, channel, yeah. so I can give you it, and it's got a ton Absolutely. of resources on there that hopefully you'll like. Because no, I feel like really I'm a nice guy. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, well, I really really appreciate it, guys. That was that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Lovely. Much. Yeah. Awesome. Is there any other, like, anything else you'd be worried about, in, like way of vitamins or? Anything you mean like, nutritional? Yeah, like a nutritional point of view. Being vegan? Yeah, being vegan. Like, yeah, being vegan. Well, I don't know. 
like you said about we use some like toxics in in apples for example and yeah. vegetable yeah, GMO, GMO yeah, GMO stuff, yeah. so we eat them anyway so that could be a problem but given the fact that we eat meat that can ha, has a lot of more of that those yeah, toxics exactly. so i don't know yeah. <laughs> i've tough. perhaps it's not the like perfect uh, you know how can i put this decision to make like the best option but it's better That's than this Absolutely. that we have now yeah i think how does your girlfriend find being vegan? Uh, I'm sorry. How does your girlfriend find being vegan? Does she enjoy it? Yeah, 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 she does. Yeah, and uh, you know, it is it is a lifestyle, and, and yeah, she she really likes. It. Good. Yeah. And you think that maybe you'll follow in her footsteps sometime soon? Then? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. And, yeah. and and being with her have already like decreased my my meat yeah. consumption, that's which great. is good. Which is yeah. good. Well, if you're interested, I can give you some more information. I mean, you've seen some of the documentaries, but I've got some flyers if you want to look through them. And I can give you those to the, give them to you now if you're interested. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks so much. I really, I really appreciate that. It was thank fun you. talking thank to you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Nice.